Welcome to Work Smarter, the series where we share tips, tools, and services that make you more productive, automate your work, and allow you to take on new opportunities. Sometimes we'll dive into specific apps or concepts, but to kick things off, we want to share 10 digital tools that give us superpowers. So first is car to go car to go is a car sharing service where there's cars all around the city. There are some like newer smart cars and you basically pick a car on your phone, walk up to it, tap it, car opens up, you get in and you can drive wherever you want. The next one up is breather. Uh, this is a new one we've started using. They're basically like meeting room spaces, kind of like car to go that you can just book online, but they are like nice in style. So they come in all sorts of different sizes, like big boardrooms, more creative spaces. They're great for presentations, client meetings, uh, video shoots, things like that. One thing we really rely on is Google tools. Um, everything from Gmail to Google Drive to Docs, Sheets. We use it to store almost everything we do in the cloud. That way we can access it anywhere in the world. It's very easy to share documents, collaborate with remote team members. And beyond that, there's plugins and extensions for their services that really allow you to do things you'd never imagine you could do either with Gmail or Google or Excel and things like that. Another one we use daily is Shopify, which is like a Toronto-based e-commerce platform. It's fantastic because not only is it a templated store, but there's essentially a full app store to sort of supercharge your business. Something we use a lot for video and design uh, kind of like aspects of our business is Envato Market. Envato is an online marketplace that creators can upload different creative assets. So music, titles, animations, templates for websites or blog posts, almost anything you can imagine. Um, we use it for like a lot of our videos, for music and things like that. And it's a really easy way to look fresh without spending a ton of money. Another thing we rely on a lot to always be learning and trying out new things is Skillshare. It's a platform that people can upload different lessons on almost any top from learning Photoshop to learning e-commerce to learning marketing to learning analytics. I find compared to other tutorials, the way they approach it is a lot more useful and actionable. They teach you things you actually need to know rather than simply just driving through every single feature in an application. Another app we use a lot is Airtable, and Airtable is essentially a combination of spreadsheets and databases. If you need that, you will probably know what I'm talking about, but essentially it's great for storing huge amounts of information. Things like wholesale databases, client lists, it makes it easy to capture, view that information in a lot of different sources, and also cross-link information. So just like really clean and fresh feeling compared to a lot of those more technical enterprise apps. So Trello is one thing I use myself almost every day. It's kind of like a productivity project management tool I'm using Kaban boards, which are sort of like linear boards that you can drag from one column to the next. It really allows you to organize ideas, project timelines in a really visual way and makes it easy to work with teams and kind of collaborate on a project without having to email every single little thing to you or comment and kind of like text back and forth. You can really quickly solve problems and make notes uh, and get like a global picture of everything you have to do. Then another one has kind of been around for a while, If This Then That or IFTTT. -T -T. It's a service that links up other services together. So for example, we have one on my phone where every time we whiteboard out ideas, I take a photo of it and it automatically sends it into a specific whiteboard folder on my desktop. So if I need a quick or on Dropbox, so if I need a quick reference, I can kind of pull that whiteboard up from anywhere. You can do things like have it automatically post to Instagram after, or post to Twitter after you post an image to Instagram. There's really no limit, or there's a limit, but not a huge limit. There's hundreds of apps that use it, uh, and they recently really improved the service a lot. So definitely worth checking out and seeing what parts of your day or kind of like things that take up a lot of time you can automate with if this then that. Finally, last one, uh, with all these services, there's tons of passwords and all sorts of crap like that you have to manage. At this point, everyone has to have a password manager. The one we use is 1Password, it's fantastic. If you don't know what a password manager is, you have a single password that you use to access this app and within it, it securely stores all your accounts, passwords, and other information and generates like really complex, unique passwords for all your accounts. So you only have to remember your like one password and then you enter that in and then one password automatically will populate 
the account login with the actual password, which is like a really complex long number. So those are our 10 services or digital tools that give us superpowers. Let us know what you thought of this episode. In future episodes, we're gonna dive in a little deeper on each of these and other tools and interesting applications. If there's something you're wondering about how we work or what we do, uh, let us know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed the concept and be sure to subscribe since we're releasing weekly videos now. So don't miss a beat. Thanks a lot. Peace.